In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom grid line in Revit. So let's go. All right. So the first step whenever you start a project is to always create grid lines. So you will find the grid line option under architecture. Here we have grid or you can tap GR as the shortcut. And when you create a grid line from top to down, you would see that the first number is one. And the best part about Revit is when you create the second line, it automatically changes to two. You can also copy the lines once you are created a couple of them and it would automatically renumber accordingly. Similarly, if you create the horizontal lines, let's say, uh, for example, we start with the horizontal line from top. And I'm going to rename this. When you want to rename that, uh, simply tap into the circle and change the name to, for example, A. And then I copy this down, it would automatically change to B, C, and so on. Then, of course, when you select the line, you have an option to drag it. And you can also snap it with the top lines here. And when it is snapped to each other, you can drag it all together as well. Now, for example, if you do not want it to be snapped with each other, then when you select this horizontal line, you have this, this symbol here. Simply click on the symbol and now it's not locked to the other lines and you can simply drag it to right or left. And then of course, if you want to see the symbol on the left side as well, you can select the line and we have this box here. Simply click on that to turn it on and you can see the text on the left side as well or top and down. Now, if you want to change the color of these lines, you can select the line, click on edit type. And now you can see we have different types here. So let's duplicate the type before we make some changes. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to give my name here and I'm going to call this red grid lines. So let's change the segment color. That's uh, right now it is black. So I'm going to change this to red and click on OK. Now you can see this grid line is only red because we've selected MPS red grid line for this grid. Now if you want to change all of the others as well, simply select all of them and change the type here. So I'm going to change this to MPS red grid line. So now all of them would be red. Now the problem is, is I can only see the red grid line for these lines in between the symbols. I would also like to change the text color to red and this symbol circle here. So how do we do that? We need to first examine the name of this family. Right now, this circle belongs to a grid family. So if I select this, click on edit type, you can notice that the symbol is Anno grid head circle standard. And we have only one symbol here. So I'm going to copy this. So you can select this or you can just simply search for this uh, symbol here in this list, in the project browser. So I'm going to search for this here. Okay, I'm just going to search for AnnoGrid, for example. And then we find our AnnoGrid head circle family. So we need to edit this family. Simply right click here and click on edit. And then we come to our family window. So now here I would need to activate the reference line so that I can see those. So simply tap VV to activate the visibility graphic override window, go to annotation categories and switch them back on. So now you see your reference lines. You can also notice that this circle is parametric, so you can change the radius. So if you want to change the radius, simply go here and you can change the radius, say to example, eight. And if you want to change the color, you will need to select the line here. And right now we have only one subcategory, which is grid head. So we need to create a new subcategory and then change the color. So to change the color, let's go to manage and click on object styles. And here we'll need to create a new subcategory. Let's call this grid lines red. And let's group this under grid heads. So now we'll need to change the line color from here. So let's click on black and let's change this to red. And uh, let's keep the line thickness to one. Now let's click on OK. Now if you want to change the color, simply select this line 
and change the subcategory to grid lines red. Perfect. So now if you load this back into your project and click on override the existing version, you can see that we've changed the color of the symbol of the circle here, but we've not changed the color of the text. So if you want to change the color of the text, simply go back to your family. We need to select this text here, click on edit type. Uh, generally, I would always duplicate the existing type before I make any changes. So I'm going to call this 4.5 mm red and then simply change the color to red. So now it is red. Uh, by the way, this is label text. So if you click on edit label, you can notice that we have our name here. So we have brought in our name and this is the sample value is zero. We can also, for example, uh, give another sample value. It doesn't really matter. So let's uh, load this back into our project and overwrite the existing version. And now you can see all of our um, symbols are red and we have also the text in red and also, of course, the lines in between. Now, if you want to create th such families from scratch, you can go to File, New Family. And you would find this under Annotations. Generally, I would start with Generic Annotation. but you would also find sometimes the right family. So for example here, yeah, we have the grid head family. So you can use either this template or this. We'll start with generic annotation. So when you use generic annotation, the first step is to always change the category. So you can see we have the category option here. And from here, I'm going to simply select grid heads. Now I need to place a text here. So let's go to create and let's click on label text and then place it somewhere here in the middle of our reference lines. And then I'm going to bring in name. So here the sample value, I can give zero one, for example. And then I bought that in. Now the problem here is that I can't really place it exactly in the middle. So if you want to place it exactly in the middle, you can select this text. So this is a quick hack for you guys. And then you can group this text. So you can create a detailed group. It doesn't really matter what name you give it. But once you've made it a group, you can notice that we have the midpoint of this text. And then if you select the text, you can use the move tool and move it exactly to the center of our reference lines. Now the last step is to of course create um, a symbol. So let's go to line. Uh, this time I'm going to use the polygon option. Inscribe polygon. And then I'm going to create a polygon as shown. Shouldn't be too big. Uh, I think this would suffice. Now let's save this family. I've uh, maintained a library and I'm going to save this in my library. So I'm going to give this my firm name and then the name of the family. So this is going to be grid line, polygon. I generally like to keep my options, backup options to one. I'm going to save this here. Now I can load this back into our project. I can also close it. Now if I want to use this here, I can click on edit type. I can probably duplicate this. Uh, let's call this grid lines polygon. And then let's change the color to black, of course. And here in the symbol, let's select our new family. So now if I click on OK, you can see that I've bought in my new family. Now to solve this issue here, when we have a line overlapping with our hexagonal grid, what you can do is let's edit our family. And then what you would need to do is simply create a circle from here to here, select the circle line and make sure that it is not visible. So now if I load this back into my project and overwrite the existing version, you can see that our line goes away. That was a quick hack for you guys in case you have such problems because Revit recognizes circles better than other shapes for grid bubble heads. So now you know how to change the color of your grid lines and also change the symbol of your grid lines. Now, if you'd like to change the type of grid line here, you can click on edit type here 
and you can see we have a pattern for our grid line so you can change it to any of these here so for example if i use dot then it would become dotted so that pretty much covers all you need to know about grid lines in revit especially when it comes to changing the symbol family if you like more such tutorials please do subscribe to arc gyan revit and if you'd like more in-depth courses from a professional architect or professional architects and BIM professionals, head to arcgyan.com. You'll find blogs, resources, courses, and a whole lot more. So I'll see you guys in our platform. And of course, in the future videos. Cheers.